Hey guys, what's happening? It's Landon from Refine Horizons. Rocking my new Redefine Horizons hat. Going to show you in this video how we upload deliverables to FileCamp. Uh, we're going to look at it. I'm going to show you a little bit about how FileCamp works, but we're going to look at how to do this for a particular client. It's an engineering company we work with called Benchmark Engineering. So let me show you guys, when you log into our FileCamp account, this is what you're going to see. Now, if you're not from RH, uh, your company may have this set up differently, but I'm going to, it's basically like File Explorer. Okay, so I'm in the root, I'm in the root folder of uh, the RH FileCamp account. And uh, we've got different folders set up here, training, marketing, junk drawer, jobs, clients, blah, 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 right? <clears throat> so what we want to do is we're going to go into our clients folder. This is where we keep, we keep stuff for clients. And uh, we have this one particular client that likes to get copies of everything we do digital. And most of the files are too big to ship by email. So we've set this folder up for them and they ask for it to be set up in a specific way. Okay, so when you come in here, so what we have here is we've got a file for each of the job, the client jobs, okay, and we actually use the client job number in here because it makes it easy for the client. So they can just go in and, and use their job number. Okay, and so uh, what we need to do is uh, we're going to add a, a file to this folder here, Borelli Ranch, okay, so if, if you come into this spot and you don't see the client, the, the, the job number, the job folder for the job that you need to upload to, then you have to create it. Okay, so we're going to open, we're going to upload to this folder right here, Borelli Ranch. Okay, and all these folders are basically set up the same, so it's not, it's not like our deliverable folder, um, and this is the way the clients ask for it. So we've got this CAD folder where all the CAD files go, okay, and then we basically put a folder in here for every other kind of deliverable, okay? And we don't keep old versions on here, okay? So the client wants only the most current version of whatever the deliverable is in, in this folder, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder. So in FileCamp, to do that, you come over here to uh, right here, this little icon right here says Add Folder, okay? And then in, in this for this client, the folder is going to be the name of the deliverable, so in this, in this case, we're doing the UAV aerial topo mapping. Okay. So I'm going to create that folder. Okay, and we'll open that up. Okay, and then I'm going to go grab what I need. We want to upload it. So to do an upload, you come over here to this icon right here, the arrow, and we hit upload. Okay, and we can choose a file or a folder. We want to choose a folder. Okay, so we go into the job folder, and again, this part right here will be specific to my company, RH. Find the job number, okay, and if, if the, the technician or the surveyor has done their job right, then there should be an out folder with what we need. Okay, and let's see, I can't tell, so let's go open that job. Let's open that folder. So there's a folder in here dated the 23rd. Okay, so this, it, it does not have what I need. Okay, so we're going to make a new folder with today's date and communications out. Today's the 4th. And I always like to put what, what it is if I can, so this is Topo to Benchmark. Okay. And then we're going to go get what we need to ship. Okay, which is these drawings here. So we'll paste those in. Okay, then I'm just going to open this Topo Master, and because uh, we may have to repath these XREFs, so let's just see how that looks. So you just want to check, make sure that your if your main deliverable is a CAD drawing, that the XREFs are going to load properly. Okay, so it looks like everything's loading up. Okay, so the only thing we don't have is the UAV Ortho, which is fine. They actually have that already. So I'm just going to detach that and save this. Okay.
Okay, so that looks like it's ready to go. Okay, guys. So I got rid of the surface drawing. Uh, the, the client gets the contours, but we're not sending them the surface. So this folder now has everything we need. So we're going to go back into file camp and we're going to actually choose this folder and just hit upload. It'll say, do you want to upload? Yes. And uh, it automatically finds all the files. Okay. okay, so now they're in here, but I actually goofed that up because I want these to actually be in that one folder up. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, so now we can get rid of this folder. We actually don't need it. Okay, so now I've got the drawing files that we're shipping for this aerial topo. The client can open the to open the topo master here, and these other drawings will automatically load as the xrefs. Okay, so the only thing that's going to be a little bit different now is because this is a, a this folder only has drawings and and uh, it, it doesn't have PDFs, so it's a, it's a CAD deliverable, right? So it actually goes in the CAD folder, so we're going to move it over there. Okay. So I should I should have put it in there to begin with. Whoop. Boy, I'm just messing this up. Okay, so now if you open CAD, um, it's got it's got a folder for this aerial topo map, and we should really have a folder in here. This is our base drawing. We should have a folder for that too. So let's let's make that. So we send them what we call a survey base drawing. It has the boundary and the control. Okay, and we'll move that in there. So what would normally go in here, if it's not just drawings, if it's an actual deliverable, then it goes in here in its own folder, right? So that, that's like the UAV ortho has just the orthos. Uh, if we had a, like a, we're probably going to have a final subdivision map or more than one on here, each phase would get its own folder, okay? But the drawings, if it's just drawings, it goes in the CAD folder. Okay, so now that we have that where we want, we can come in here. Once you have the files in the folder you want, you just come in here and click share, and then you copy this link. Okay. And now that we have that link, we can send that to the client and they'll be able to come in. They click that link. They, they can see everything in here under their folder, under the benchmark folder. But they'll be able to come in. Uh, that link's going to take them directly to this folder where, where they can download each of these drawings. Okay. Now, just to review, we've got the folder in FileCamp and we have it set up the way the client wants. Okay, but we also in communications out are tracking those deliverables sequentially, right? That's what we do on our end, okay? So we've got a folder here with today's date showing that we sent the topo to benchmark and we have a copy of the files we sent. Now, let's just say we do some additional mapping or we make some corrections to the topo and we got to resend the topo, okay? So we would add another folder here for that. So let me just, let's say we update this on the 10th, okay? Okay, so that gets that those files go in here, and we, we keep the files in each folder, so we can see what was set what was sent to the client on each date. Okay, but back in File Camp, these files are going to get replaced. Okay, 
So the client, in this case, doesn't want to have version files. They only want to go in and grab the latest file, right? Which I understand. I understand why they want to do that. So just to be clear, there's only ever one copy of the deliverable in the file camp folder for the client. That's how we set it up. We track the versions on our end internally. Okay, so there you go, guys. Now you know how to set up a deliverable in communications out because we had to create our folder and also upload the files to a file camp so that the client can easily download it.